All right, welcome back. So in this video, I'm just going to be covering these um, self-adjusting e-pads uh, by Achilles. Sorry it took a little long for the video. It's been a little bit trying to figure these things out, how to adjust them, and just where they stay in position. I will say um, there's pros and cons to them. I really, I mean, I, I think they're okay, honestly. They're good, not great. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start with the pros and cons on these because, yeah, like I said, I, I think they're pretty decent. I, I see their vision over at Achilles. They definitely, it's a good concept. But um, let me just go ahead and start with the cons just to you know get it out of the way. The cons, uh, the first is probably going to be, for me, me personally, I mean, I've probably been a little spoiled, but there's just there's some gel in there, but it's not enough for me. Like, the, I could still kind of feel like if you're crawling on gravel or something like that, you're going to feel that a little bit going through it. But, I mean, just for regular ground, dirt, grass, and maybe like concrete, It'll be decent. You know, they're pretty good for that. Second is going to be just a setup time. If you really want them to be calibrated right, you know, for what you're trying to do, it's a little bit of an inconvenience. I, I did find myself a lot of the times just going and reaching for my standard, um, you know, cheaper low Velcro strap knee pads just because they just, it's just that much easier to put on. These are, you know, they're good once you get them fit right, but it's just... You got to adjust it every time. I'm not going to lie about it. Um, these here adjusters, I guess they they can slide loose or whatever. And, um, and like I said, it's just depending on what you're doing, depending on the circumstances, they're going to need to be tighter or looser. For instance, if, the, if you're trying to crawl around, like if you're crawling around in um, crawl spaces or up in attics, crawling over joists, crawling up and over units and things like that, these are not going to be very good because the lack of support around your actual knee i just found they just go all over the place they just fall off my knee these straps will be getting all in the way but if you're just doing like standard like say you're doing an outdoor uh, maintenance or something where you're not having to get up and over and crawl all into types crazy contort your body in different ways these will be fine so it's just I think it's about the application, really. They're not to me. I haven't gotten them to actually work properly in those types of situations where I'm having to essentially contort my body, you know, in more extreme ways and, you know, trying to crawl up and over things. They just didn't seem to do the job uh, for those types of situations. Yeah, the other con I felt was just, um, and like I said, it might be the way I had to tighten them just to get them to stay when I kneel, to stay on my knee. But they do have consistent resistance. You know, as you're walking, kind of like you're getting a nice little hamstring workout or whatever. You know, it's not it's not extreme or anything, but you, you definitely feel it. The pros, I'll say they, they do have really good characteristics as well. And that's just going to be, if you're not really, you know, climbing ladders and things like that, if you're just literally simply kneeling on your knees to work, these are really good. Then, you know, you really can't beat them. They're, they're pretty decent in that um, regard. At first, I had to build trust in them because... You want to probably you want to get these things properly set up. That way, they don't slide off your knee when you're kneeling, and then you just kneel on a hard ground or hard gravel. Yeah, another thing I like about them—they're pretty lightweight. Uh, your knees breathe pretty well because they're not necessarily clamped around your knees, so that's pretty cool. They definitely keep your legs cool. Uh, your knees a little bit cooler. It's a lot cooler and a lot more comfortable as far as long duration use, though. Uh, if you're using these things for a long time, these are going to be a little bit more comfortable than just your conventional, you know, Velcro style or whatever, especially the clip. The clip ones, for some reason, I found the Velcro are a lot more comfortable than the ones that have the actual button clips. I guess those button clips, you got to tighten them really tight. Yeah, these are going to be more comfortable than those, uh, both of those options. So, yeah, in regards to the claims that uh, they make, they do lo they do hold up to the claims for the most part. But you just have to remember that's just based on conditions and circumstances. So if you're using these in extreme conditions, you might struggle with them. You might have a little bit of um, heartache. But if you're just using these to kneel and, you know, do simple tasks, maintenance or change out a simple condenser or something like that. For install, basically, I wouldn't probably recommend it. Or for doing more physically demanding work and service, I probably wouldn't recommend these. But if you're just doing like, a, if you're just like a maintenance tech or something like that. I mean, even maintenance tech, you're going to have to do some pretty stream crawling and things like that at times so well just like i say just basically make sure you use them for the right proper application and i think you you probably won't be disappointed with them and you know, also i found them to be pretty durable you know like i said i've used them for a few weeks here not consistently but i've used them on and off and they seem to be 
okay. I mean, they're not falling apart on me just yet. So yeah, the other part that's really cool about them is they just don't slide down. I mean, that's one big thing with all knee pads I've ever experienced. That's why I was really excited to try these. You know, they don't have that issue as far as sliding down off your knees onto your shin. So that's the biggest major um, positive, honestly. You know, it's a really cool, it's a really cool concept in that sense. I really like that they're trying to address that issue that we're all experiencing in the field. I mean, I, I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's a really cool concept and uh, I'll probably keep them in my van, use them for those types of situations where they're actually, you know, where I'm not doing too much strenuous climbing and acrobatics through houses and, and attics and crawl spaces. But, you know, as far as simple tasks where I'm just kneeling, I'll probably go ahead and use these, you know, standard. Oh yeah, another, another pro actually is the price. I mean, I thought these would have been a bit more expensive, but these are actually... I think they're pretty pretty cheap actually. I think they're about thirty five dollars, maybe forty dollars. You know, they're not that bad as far as price. Pretty affordable. Like I said, I do have another pair of these. I'm going to um, give away. Uh, just go ahead and write me a comment below why you why you like these, why you prefer to use these, and I'll pick a random winner and send them your way. Other than that, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've um, tried these or experienced these yourselves. And thanks for watching.